we have the ability to communicate with our star family. They don't have time and space like humans have time and space. They have the here and the now. One of the main things that the galactics say, at, at least to me, is just let go. Just let go and let it come in and believe it. You don't have to be the world's most intelligent person to be able to speak with the galactics. The galactics like to talk with everyday people because everyday people are the ones that are either taking good care of the planet or taking bad care of the planet. And that's what the Arturians are the most involved in. Humanity has not always been treating Gaia the way that she deserves to be treated, to say the least. The Arcturians, they want to speak with the third dimensionals. And the Arcturians are like fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimensionals. They always tell me to have my feet grounded, my back straight, so that this energy field can flow in through my crown and go goes all the way through our bodies and then out our feet and in to the core of Gaia. And the thing that the galactics are always saying is that this is about planet Gaia. This is what's important. What we, the Arcturians from the higher space, are seeing is that more and more people are actually starting to wake up. There is no such thing as the thought form of good enough in the galactic realm. That is the realm of fifth dimensional beings. And the fifth dimensional beings have no sense of good, bad, rich, poor. They are living within the oneness. It is that oneness. And it is the oneness that Earth is calling for within this now. There are many things that are not important and many things that are very important. And very often the not important is what gets the most attention and the really important does get enough attention. That's one of the things that humanity is going to need to work on. The ones who have connected with us have connected more deeply and more honestly. It's more the quality than the quantity. There's not a lot of people yet because there's still so much conflict in the world that so many people are just totally disrupted. It's all about your state of consciousness and your ability to believe that it's possible. And it's just like a while back they had all those uh, people were doing all those sports, you know, when they're flipping around and stuff and making high jumps and all those types of things. And one of the people that was in it, she said that the most important thing is your attitude. You know, you have to have the right attitude because if you think you're going to fall, you're going to fall. If you think that it's going to work out, it'll work out. But you could fall and make it get fixed at the last minute so no one noticed that you fell. But it looked like, oh, that was a good trip, you know. So there's ways that we can decide that okay, this didn't start off too good, but I, I know that 
I am the creator of my reality and this is the reality that I want to live. That's probably one of the most important things that we the Arcturians wish to say to humans in this now is that you are the creator of your life. Now there are some damaged people that their creation will be more damaged. And there are others that are very artistic and caring and loving and they will be the ones that will help the people that are lost and, and can't care and can't know and can't remember. There's things that are easy and things that are difficult. And there's healers and people who are chronically ill. And the challenge right now for humanity is to stay out of those extremes and to put yourself in the middle so you can just be a little upset, a little angry, or a little lost, but you don't allow yourself to fall into that third dimensional place. Our closing message is we, you, the members of planet Earth, the humans, of planet Earth are on the edge of a great chance of immense transmutation. And what needs to happen is that the humans need to think of Gaia, think of the planet Earth, that's why we call her Gaia, because Gaia is like a name of a person. Gaia is the consciousness of the planet Earth. And the consciousness of planet Earth is on the rise. What's happening now is that it's starting to get more common. Yes, of course, Gaia is a living being. That tree is a living being. And everything is alive if we can believe it.